Well, in today's video, we're going to be going over the topic of time complexity. And so, yeah, in uh, Yusuko, time complexity is probably one of the most important uh, factors for problem solving uh, because um, one of the major features of the Yusuko competition is that you're given a time limit. And so if your code takes too long, then your, um, I guess you won't get the um, points for getting the right solution. So like even if you get the right solution, uh, if your code takes uh, too long, it like exceeds the time limit, then you'll get a time limit exceeded and won't get any points for that. So um, I guess we'll go over um, how important time complexity is in bronze. So basically the time complexity, or sorry, the limit in Yusuko is two seconds for C++ and uh, four seconds for Python and Java. So Yeah, so um, uh, let's, if we think about it a little differently, then um, that's around 10 to, uh, or I guess five times 10 to the eighth operations. So yeah, like I guess the goal is to get um, a solution that has less than this many operations. So something less than O of five times 10 to the eighth. And yeah, so I guess to start off with the basics of time complexity, we call, uh, we use something called big O notation. And basically what big O notation is, is it tells us what the time complexity is um, in the worst case. Yeah, so it tells us the worst case time complexity and it kind of ignores constant uh, factors. So um, let's say we had a code, um, like a for loop. So yeah, and then I guess, well, code. so if we're using big O notation for this code, it would basically, we have Two, to two times n um, operations, or sorry, iterations. And let's say the code here just takes one operation. So it's like, um, we have like a counter and we're incrementing the counter. Then we basically have two times two to the n, I'm sorry, not two to the n. It would be two n um, um, operations. So for the big O notation, what would we would be writing is um, all, uh, capital O parentheses of n. Well, I guess we'll, we'll start with 2n. And so, you know, you would think that it's 2, but uh, once you, like, calculate all of the um, operations, like, for the worst case, then you get rid of all the constants. So if it's uh, 2n, then it's n. Let's say if it was 3n plus 4n squared plus 5, then we get rid of all the constants through uh, n plus, or sorry, no, you wouldn't even have to write n, you just do this. And so I guess the main point of this is that, um, you know, if we're just writing like a short code, like this right here, and n is at most, we don't really have to worry about the time complexity because no matter what we do, it's most likely going to stay under the time limit we have, but um, I guess this is not as important as in Braun as it is in uh, higher levels, but once the, uh, I guess, constraints grow much larger, so like 10 to the fifth and on, then, you know, it's going to matter how, uh, how many operations we have because time limit exceeding is going to become a bigger problem. And so, yeah, so let's say we have this many operations, then... Um, the big O notation for this um, 
especially relevant to Yusuko, we would just want to focus on n squared because, um, as you can see, let's, let's just first go uh, n plus n squared. So first we got rid of all the constants, so 3, 4, and 5. And then we have n plus n squared. So obviously n squared is going to be much larger than n. And since we're trying to look at the worst case, um, it doesn't really matter that we're adding on n operations because the n squared is going to be the, I guess, most major factor of the time complexity. So it's just going to be O of n squared. So if we go through like more examples, if we have like um, O of 5n plus or 5n cubed log n plus n to the fourth. Then <clears throat> if we have this uh, and we want to, you know, simplify it, first let's just get rid of like all the constants. So it's n to the third log n plus n to the fourth. So we want to find which, I guess, component of this time complexity is going to be larger. And that's going to be n to the fourth because log n is obviously going to be smaller than n. So let's say we have something smaller than n times n cubed. That's going to be smaller than something, I guess, n times n cubed, if that makes sense. So this would just be of n to the fourth. So I guess the whole point is that it's not really like accurate in telling us how many, like, um, it's not, I guess, precise in telling us how many operations we're doing exactly. But the main point of the using big O notation is to estimate if your code will run under the time limit. Um, and yeah, so in the next video, I'll go over, um, I guess, more specifics on how to easily quickly recognize the um, time complexity of your code, uh, which I guess if you're in bronze, that's, it's good to start practicing then, although you won't need it as much. Uh, and you'll definitely need it in higher contests. And yeah, so thank you for watching.